everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. tell I'm in a different place. I am in the Peak District. Yesterday I was at the National Running Show in Birmingham and then we continued driving north um, and now I'm in the Peak District to go on a nice little run. And by little I mean 20k and by nice I mean freezing cold. It is currently minus three outside which for us Brits is pretty chilly and there's snow on the ground. Look. I'm just staying at my friend's house and it is so beautiful here. Like the whole area is just gorgeous. So I'm really excited to get out. We are going to near Edale-ish and doing a nice loop there with a local runner who is a friend of mine called Rich and my friend Tony who is here as well. And yeah, we're just gonna plod around and enjoy being outside all day. Morning. Morning. How are you, how are you doing today? This is just stunning, isn't it? It's amazing. It's a little, like, little bit icy. We're in the spine race. We are in the spine race. <laughs> Not easier in a car, I've got to say. Just parked up. The sun is shining. I already can't feel my toes, which doesn't bode very well. <laughs> I'm trying to heat them up before I put my shoes on. Tony's getting all his stuff out the back and we're meeting Rich. He's just arrived as well. But like, how beautiful is this? It's so excited. So cold. All right, so we have here Rich and Tony. You all right? Yep. Morning. He's our local trail guide. Morning. Yeah, I'm here taking these two southerners on a bit of a trail guide. They've never been further north than Nelly. No, they come up here. Yeah, yeah actually, he's Michigan. never Michigan been here. Yes. <laughs> it's July in the Peak District. Give me lugs. <laughs> Give me lugs. Yeah. Woo. Up we go! We've just set off. It is freezing cold from a winter spine race conditions. <laughs> We're not going quite as fast, so it's fine. Ooh! Up. Yeah, our path is down there. And uh, it's just a river of ice, so we've taken the grassy route. All right, so the start of the route goes up um, straight up Mam Tor, and then we get to go along the ridge at the top. And I'm so excited for the views because it is beautiful up there. First time I came here, there was not, you couldn't even see five meters ahead of you. And now it's a beautiful, clear day, so yeah, I'll show you. So, what's that bit called? It's Mam Nick. Mam Nick Road. Beautiful. And what's that one? That's Lord Seat. Lord Seat, nice. Kinder Scout over there. Oh, okay. And we've got Edale down here. Yeah, so I ran through Edale and the um, Old yeah. Track's 50. Correct, yeah. Nice. Look at that. Woo! Well worth the four hour drive. So beautiful. Can't feel my toes though. Literally can't feel my toes. I'm probably going to fall over. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Gorgeous. Watch me stack it down the hill. never run on um, snow before so this is a new experience and it is uh, interesting so I was just saying my, uh, my trail shoes are made for alpine trails and this is a little bit like alpine trails except my trail shoes are for like summer trails and this is like oh, winter trails so I'm just slippy sliding everywhere I'm just taking tiny little steps and hoping not to fall over I feel like a complete amateur <laughs> Like Bambi on ice, minus the long legs, sadly. Woo! Last time I came in this direction, we couldn't see like five meters ahead. Isn't that cool? So 
Benny the mountain goat. Made it up there in no time at all. I'm gonna see if I can find the photo of me up here the first time I came. It's just fog, flora, fog. And that's all you can see. Not these gorgeous views. The UK has a lot to offer. If uh, any of you have not been to the peaks or the Lake District or the Southwest Coast Path or <clears throat> the Trossachs or the Cairngorms or the Scottish Highlands or the Brecon Beacons or Snowdonia, like, get your ass there now. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> I will never get bored of this. That's where we came from up there. Whew, straight up this hill. And... <sighs> Wow! <laughs> Not bad, is it? Nice. Not bad. There he goes, Mr. Local himself. <laughs> we can't stop taking photos because it's just so beautiful. <laughs> um, it's going to be a very slow run. <laughs> So what's that one there? That's Wind Hill. Wind Hill. Oh wow. your big race next week. Uh, so in what, four or five days I do the arc of attrition which is uh, 100 miles on the coast path. 100 and, uh, miles, not bad. Scared's probably the operative word. <laughs> you'll be great. But training's been good and it's been going to be fun so. Yeah, yeah you'll be amazing. Can everyone please wish Tony good luck? Um, Here. I do have a fundraising page raising money for ultra distance scholarship, um, which Flora might be kind enough to share. Um, <laughs> I will, don't you Amazing mind. work for getting uh, non UK uh, majorities, so less uh, white men, into ultra distance cycling events. And if you can't see it, you can't be it. So, like black trail runners are doing in running, ultra distance cycling, ultra distance scholarship are doing in the ultra distance cycling world. So, Amazing. great for Amazing, such a good cause. I'll be linking that down below so you guys can donate if you feel generous. And uh, yeah, Tony's going to do a great job so everyone can wish him luck. Hi, Ozzy. You are beautiful. Are you chilly? <laughs> <laughs> it is just mandatory to say hi to all of the animals that you go past. <laughs> he wants his breakfast, I think. <laughs> Little road section now before heading back onto the hills. Oh, yeah. that is some ice. <laughs> Look how tiny the gate is. I literally only just fit sideways. Guys, <laughs> that's mad. Who are these built for? Definitely the sheep couldn't fit through there. So, you know, Tony's so fit that he's running sideways. <laughs> mad. Tony's testing out the new uh, uh, Runderwear oh, base layer. Sure. It's got gloves <laughs> in it. Super really cool! I, I could wear my mittens over the top. Then. Yeah! <laughs> Such a great idea. Your I love that gear. Super yeah. nice. Gorgeous. Ooh.
my ability to run hills right now is so shocking. It's crazy, these two up ahead just gallivanting off and I've done that stupid thing where every time I see a long run on the plan I'm like make it flat because it just says 30k it doesn't say 30k with 500 plus meters of elevation it just says 30k so I'm like all right I'll do 30k and it's flat and I get around to doing something like this which is not even as hilly as the lakes and uh, my body is like what is going on so it's a good reminder to get back out on some hilly trails and uh, just do it like it doesn't really matter if it's slow but if I get around to race day and can't run any hills I'm screwed so we are just coming up the uh, beginning and end of the well the, my first ever ultra which was ultra x uh, 50 ultra x um, England and it's a 75 kilometer run followed by a 50 kilometer run and you can either choose to do both or you can just choose to do one and obviously with it being my first I only did the 50 um, and it's absolutely beautiful and uh, yeah it goes around Mamtor and then comes back along that bridge there and then up this uh, flat quote unquote road it's nice in this direction in the other direction after running 49 kilometers it definitely hurts um, but yeah such a beautiful route and it's good to be back and running it at, more of a leisurely pace and not doing 50k today um, but yeah if any of you are looking for a good first ultra it's amazingly marked everyone's super friendly they've got great aid stations uh, and it's just beautiful so we thoroughly recommend Dog! <laughs> hey! hey puppy Sweet! Just don't want to die, you know? Wow! Bloody hell! Today, I've been testing out a Voom Nutrition little sachet thing in my water. It's a bit like, feels a bit like Tailwind. Um, it's got what? How many grams of carbs? 60 grams of carbs? 90. 90 grams of carbs. 90 grams of carbs. Um, in it, and electrolytes and vitamins and stuff. And I've got to say, I'm impressed. Like, we've been out for over two hours. And anyone who watched my last week's vlog will know how hungry I get usually on a run and I've just been working my way through 500 mil of water with this nutrition stuff in and I've not been hungry once at all um, which is kind of unheard of so yeah so far so good I think the point is that you have one of these every hour so I've had it like half I've had half of what I should be having really um, but I kind of wanted to just test it out and see if it agreed with my body which it does and the more carbs you take in on the run the quicker your recovery afterwards so that's something i'm going to be working on is basically like how much food i can eat while i'm running um and including drinking into that not alcohol mind um uh, should really help because it means that i'm not having to like ingest as much solid food so yeah so far so good you're so nimble <laughs> off he goes Sorry, Tony. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> So 
was just discussing with Rich here the uh, the virtues of um, walking and stopping and taking in the views when on a run. Yeah. I mean, it's half the fun, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> what it's about. Exactly. When you've got views like this, like, why would you not? We've been out for how long? Two hours 20, right? And we've done 17 and a bit K. And uh, you might look at that on a map and be like, oh, it's a bit slow. And then you look at the views and you're like, oh no, actually that's pretty fast. <laughs> Because we could have stopped for an hour at each of those places being like, just going to get some really cool pics here. Um, but yeah, that's what it's about. As Rich was saying, like we only spend 0.1 of a percent of our time racing and the rest of the time we're running because it's fun and beautiful. Um, yeah, we don't do it for speed, <laughs> that's for sure. Great bit of road for content here, by the way. Yeah. You know, run up here if you want. You know so what I mean? Where are we? Oh, hello. <laughs> um, so we are in uh, the Peak District, Castleton, just below Mamtor, uh, yeah. on the Broken Road. We're coming to the end of our 18 and a half K run. We've done a nice loop starting at the base of Mamtor, going across the Great Ridge here, uh, back to Loose Hill, down into Hope, over there, through the valley, up through Cavedale. And then across the tops and back down here through Winters Pass. Beautiful. You're yeah. a very good tour guide. It's been my pleasure. Thank you so much. Just under 20 kilometers. Absolutely loved it. Had so much fun. We're back at the car now, all wrapped up because it is freezing. I did actually heat up, but I was wearing four layers when we set off, so not entirely surprising. Mam tour behind me. Such a cool route. As per usual, all my routes are on my Strava, so if you want to go check that out, feel free. I uh, had the best tour guide, Rich. He was just brilliant showing us all the local routes. And although I've done it before in a race, it's quite nice to come back and actually do it at a kind of leisurely pace and take in all the views and be able to stop for pictures and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, really happy with that and good to get some more mileage in the legs uh, for this week. And it's also a good reminder that I'm really not very good at hills at the moment and if I'm going to be doing races with a hell of a lot of ele elevation this year then I really need to actually like get out on the hills and worry less about mileage and more about the kind of terrain that I'm running on and the hills and elevation profile and all that kind of stuff so yeah useful to be reminded also kind of terrifying because it's really not that long until my race so I've not got so many weeks to um, just practice but we'll get there we will get there and I had a hill session earlier this week on Monday and that damn near killed me so I have had some hills this week so yeah hopefully it'll be fine by the time I come around to race day but that is it for this week's vlog I hope you enjoyed watching it if you did enjoy it please do hit the thumbs up button I will tag Tony and Rich in the description box below so that you can follow them and wish Tony luck for his arc and also donate if you can um because it's a really really good cause um and he's going to be super impressive i just know it so yeah definitely go and check them out and hit the subscribe button and that is it for this week's vlog thanks again for watching and i will see you next time bye